Drew Remenda, my partner, will join me, Randy Hahn, as we call all the action. And here we go. When it comes to hockey, we owners have always been stuck in the neutral zone. Nintendo's platform hasn't had many choices for those pining to play some puck, but it has had 2K Sports. Since bringing NHL 2K9 to the system in 2008, 2K has been the only option for Wii owners who buy hockey games. All five of them. And Fleury stops it. Gonchar is held against the board. Now Crosby. But despite what I would charitably refer to as a modest market for its games on Wii, 2K's hockey titles have actually had greater success on Nintendo's console than any other, at least in terms of critical reception. NHL 2K10 was at its best on Wii, while the game, uh, <laughs> gave up a hat trick on the other platforms. And in a surprise move, 2K Sports has pulled the goalie. It's totally skipped the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 for this year's release and developed the game exclusively for the Nintendo Wii. He scores! And they get out in front first here on the road. Some would call that awesome, some would call that crazy. But unfortunately, even with a focused development effort, NHL 2K11 occasionally hits the crossbar. But let's start with what the game does right, because to its credit, NHL 2K11 controls pretty well, especially if you own the Wii's Motion Plus accessory. The attachment allows a surprising degree of control. You can handle the puck with really impressive precision, you can deke in any direction you'd like, and if you're good enough, you can even juggle the puck on your stick. Over the stall. I'm obviously not good enough. Trying to tie this one up, and he gets denied by the post. So the controls do have benefits, but they also have drawbacks, the biggest of which is the waggle required to shoot the puck. Not only does shaking the Wii Remote to fire wristers and slap shots feel gimmicky and unsatisfying, but it doesn't add anything to the game a simple button press couldn't have. In fact, on the contrary, it's less responsive. And that's one of NHL 2K11's biggest problems. The fact that to play this game with its optimal controls, a separate controller attachment is required. Whether you go with Motion Plus or take the traditional route with the classic controller, you need one of those two to experience the game at its best. Now, it's not that playing with a Wii Remote alone is bad. Uh, even stock, the game does control well. It's just that for the best control experience, an extra purchase is required. And to me, that's a really poor development decision, especially when your game appeals to an already smaller portion of its console's demographic. Fortunately, NHL 2K11 makes up ground with that demographic thanks to its online features. The moment you start the game, it prompts you to go online, and it stays connected persistently. There are plenty of different modes and options for online multiplayer, which is always appreciated on Wii. And the game even supports Nintendo's Wii Speak voice chat peripheral. Yet as appreciated as the online features may be, the ice starts to melt a bit in terms of their execution. There's a lot of slowdown and some performance issues, and that mars what is, at least conceptually, a fantastic set of online features. And really, that's indicative of a common problem in NHL 2K11. The game just doesn't have that ultra-polished and refined feel so typical of EA's yearly hockey series. And in comparison, this one feels really second class, and the poor presentation doesn't help much. Some of the animations are nice, but otherwise, everything has a dull, really washed out look. Out of the corner. He scores! And he pulls his team to within one goal here in the second period. But, you know, for all the ways in which this game seems lacking, there are some cool ideas skating exclusively on the Wii Ice. The party game mode, for example, it isn't exactly Mario Party, but it's at least a decent hockey-themed alternative, especially for families and younger players. And when the frame rate stays consistent, the online features are great, and the controls go from good to better with the right peripherals. And besides, if you're looking for a good hockey game on Wii, 
you don't have much of a choice. It's basically 2K's way or the highway. And at the very least, we owners should feel better knowing that, although it might not win the cup, NHL 2K11 could still make the playoffs. Maybe. Good job out there, player one. The fans love your victory.